to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. Please remember this is a general reading. Lots of people asking lots of questions, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the selenite, reading number two with the terminated cords. Reading number three with the Rainbow Obsidian. Reading number four with the Malachite. And reading number five with the Black Tourmaline. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the selenite. Your first message of the reading is to clear the clutter. So whether that is mental and emotional clutter or clutter in your house, it's time to get that cleared away. Now let's take a look at your yes or no angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right. So we start with the hanged one. That talks about delays. It can talk about the need to shift your perspective. Now, the hanged one in this deck is represented by a chrysalis, so this may be a transformative period for you. Next, we see the wheel. The wheel talks about luck and fate guiding you forward, guiding your journey. Um, it can also represent some healing here because it's represented by a medicine wheel. Next, we see the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords talks about stuck energy. Feeling stuck, feeling like you can't move, just being stuck. Next, we see the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands talks about reconnecting to your passions. Um, reconnecting to, it could be romantic passions, but oftentimes they're creative passions, whatever it is that calls to you on a passion level. And then topping everything off, we have the devil. It's interesting how um, the, the devil kind of lays right over the medicine wheel and just has everything stuck. There's an energy of things being stuck here. Um, the devil talks about, it can talk about addiction, it can talk about lust, it can talk about love triangles. It's really anything that keeps you really stuck in an energy that's not really great for you. Okay. So looking at this as a yes or no, I know we have the, um, the wheel in there, which talks about luck and fate, but we also have the devil. We have the eight of swords. We have the hanging man. I feel like this answer is most likely no to whatever you've asked tarot. It may be a good no for you, but the answer is probably no. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's take a look here. 
the Empress that talks about having your material needs met. It can talk about motherhood. The Page of Cups, that is fun and socializing, spending time with friends, enjoying social situations. There's that wheel again, luck and fate turning in your favor. And the Emperor, the Emperor says you're in charge of your realm and you need to make the decisions that take you down the path you want to go down. Choose the path that resonates with your soul. All right, so your situations look really good. I feel like the, the answer no may be positive for a lot of you. Now, let's get Oracle for everything. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for group number one, please. Thank you, thank you. Friendship, okay. So this friendship card reminds us to show friendship to everyone in our realm, um, to be a good friend to your friends, but it also reminds you to show friendship to yourself, to spend some time um, focusing on you. Now let's get, let's do the emperor with moonology. What is there to add to the emperor? Guidance for the emperor here. What do you need to release? All right, so you're being told to choose what resonates with you. And there's something that you need to release that's going to make that choice a little bit easier. Let's see Queen of the Moon for the Page of Cups. What is there to add to the Page of Cups regarding the social situations? Trust. Okay, so with regards to social things, friends, fun, all of that, trust yourself. Trust that you are... Um, capable of navigating any social situation you encounter. Now let's see the Empress with Queen of the Moon. Fear. Interesting. Okay. So this could, this could be talking about you entering into motherhood. This could be talking about your material situations and having your material situations met. However it resonates with you, there is fear involved in it. Now, the interesting thing about this fear card is that you can see she's afraid on the inside. She's all huddled up and just, you know, like afraid on the inside. But she's also a goddess in charge of everything in this card that there is to be afraid of. That is the energy that you're going to either bring forward or need to bring forward with regards to this situation. Don't worry about having your material needs met. Instead, know that they're going to be met and, um, you know, just really um, step powerfully into that energy. With regards to motherhood, motherhood is scary. I've, yeah, I'm a mother four times over. I, I get it. It is very scary. But you've got this, okay? Your guides are telling you whatever fear you have with regards to this situation, you've got this. Now, let's take spell casting for the wheel. We saw the wheel twice, so luck really is guiding you forward, um, playing a significant factor in your life right now, the wheel. Spirit guide, okay, so luck is moving you forward, and your guides are playing a factor in that too. There is fate that is happening right now. The answer to your question is no, and fate may be a part of that. Let's take a look at the transparent tarot. Justice. All right. So the answer to your question is no. And justice has something to do with it. It could represent the answer is no due to fairness, due to balance. The answer to your question is most likely no. And justice plays some part in it. All right. That's all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the Terminated Quartz. Your first message of the reading is to get out of your own way. Make sure you're not putting up any blockages for yourself. Get out of your own way so that you can succeed. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. 
Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. That's good. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so we start with the Emperor. The Emperor talks about making decisions in your life that guide you down the path you desire to go down. Making sure to choose the path that is desired to you of the um, options that are there. And you're really kind of limitless, so choose what your soul desires. Next, we see the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups talks about a proposal. This could be a work proposal, it could be a, a romantic proposal, but it's someone proposing to take things to the next level. Next, we see the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords talks about some worry. So I feel like you guys know that there's options there. You've been given the option, but you're a little bit worried. It's also kind of overwhelming for you. The Ten of Wands talks about overwhelming situations, overwhelming energy. Now, we're followed by this Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups talks about all these options, which I feel like there are tons of options there for you right now. You have to kind of hold and um, really use your discernment to choose what's right for you, to choose what is on the right path for you. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, I feel like the answer is ultimately yes. However, there needs to be some pause and some selection in it um, using your discernment. So I feel like the answer is most likely yes, but it may be a little bit further out than you expect. Um, it may be delayed in some way. So most likely yes, but probably some kind of delay. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, there's that 10 of wands again. So you guys really are dealing with some very overwhelming energy. The chariot, things moving forward through your strength, your drive, your determination. Ace of wands, a new beginning that is very passionate. And the two of cups, wow. So. Um, probably stepping into a soulmate connection somewhere, taking things to the next level with a soulmate. Uh, the Two of Cups doesn't have to be romantic soulmates. It very well can be, but soulmates can manifest in different ways. So, um, but there is definitely a soul connection going on here, and it looks like it's quite passionate with that Ace of Wands. So, of course, things feel overwhelming because you got so much going on. Now, let's get Oracle for everything. We're going to start with Angel Oracle. Angels for group number two. Thank you, thank you. Honor life cycles. All right, so let whatever needs to end in so you can move into whatever's new. Go with the flow. Honoring life cycles is very similar to going with the flow. Now, let's talk about this overwhelming energy in the Ten of Wands. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, what is there to help with this overwhelming energy? Confidence is your key to success. All right, so when you feel overwhelmed, it's time to step forward with confidence, you know, to bring that confidence that you have to the table. I know things can be very overwhelming. I know you guys are worried and um, you've got a lot of options and a lot going on and things moving really quickly, which can all add up to being very overwhelmed. But your guides are telling you move forward with confidence. That's going to be your key to getting through this successfully. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon on the chariot. What is there for the chariot here? With regards to the fast moving situations, discernment, that is the second time that we have seen the idea of discernment because there's discernment in the Seven of Cups as well. Really um, taking your time, the chariot's all about moving fast. Discernment's about slowing down and really you know, gauging, is this uh, what's right for me? What is right for me in the current situation? And what's right for you can change over time because you know you you grow, situations grow, and so the the right answer may change as time goes on. But discernment helps you choose 
what's right. It's that gut feeling. It's following your intuition, using your discernment based off of previous knowledge and current knowledge to make the choice that's right for you. Now, let's see this Ace of Wands. Faith. All right. So with regards to the beginning that's all passionate, you're being told to have faith, okay? Um, now, I, I do just want to note here, sometimes the Ace of Wands is associated with male fertility. This particular faith card, she's pregnant with the world in this faith card. So there may be some fertility aspect here in your situation. Some of you may be pregnant, maybe hoping to get pregnant. Again, I'm, I can't give any kind of medical advice. Um, if, you, if you believe you're pregnant or desire to get pregnant, please seek whatever advice you need. I'm just telling you what your cards mean. And um, there is a fertility factor here. So if that's not something you want, do what needs to be done to not have that happen. And if it is something you want, um, congratulations and do what needs to be done for that to happen. So just take it as it is. There is a fertility note here though. All right, now let's see spell casting with regards to this Two of Cups. What is going on with the Two of Cups here? That is, um, it's a soulmate of some kind. Strength. Okay, so there's strength coming in through a soulmate connection, um, and it is a strong soulmate connection, which again can make things feel overwhelming because things just kind of snowball. Um, so just, you know, use your discernment, use your intuition, but there is a strong soulmate connection here. Now for the transparent tarot, which says yes, I mean, most likely yes, it does hold the note of delay or needing to use your discernment to make whatever decision is right for you. You get grieving. Okay. So grieving talks about looking at loss, focusing on loss. Don't focus on the losses of the past while you're making your current decisions. Just because things haven't worked out before doesn't mean they won't work out this time. The situation's not exactly the same as it was before. However grieving resonates with you, and it doesn't have to be grieving a person. It can be grieving the loss of a relationship, the loss of a job, the loss of a friendship, whatever loss this grieving represents for you, um, the loss of an opportunity even. Whatever it represents for you, feel what you need to feel and then let it go so that you can make the decisions that are right for you in the now. There's a lot here about making decisions and using discernment. Um, don't let grief of what has gone wrong before affect your decision in the now. All right, that is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the Rainbow Obsidian. Your first message of the reading is to heal your heart. So whatever is necessary for you to heal your heart, that needs to be your focus. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, so let's see here. That's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, we start with the sun. The sun is all about positivity and growth. It um, brings positivity to any card it touches in the tarot. Um, this is beautiful, beautiful energy, all about growth, very, very positive. Next, we see the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles says you planted the seeds for your abundance. You have to wait for them to mature and for your, um, you know, you to be able to reap the rewards of the seeds you've planted, but you've, you've put it out there. So your abundance is coming in. You just have to be patient. 
Next, we see the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles talks about you being um, appreciated for the work you're putting in. You being appreciated for your energy. This is normally in your job, normally looks like a raise or a promotion or something like that. Next, we see the Hermit. The Hermit talks about using your alone time for growth, for your you know meditation and reaching out to your higher self for having that internal growth and even if you don't have much alone time it's very important to make some time to focus on meditation and allow yourself that growth the sun is about growth the hermit represents some spiritual growth so there is growth going on here and then topping everything off we have the two of cups the two of cups can represent soulmates this doesn't have to be romantic but it very well can be um, soulmates can manifest in different ways, but it looks like there's a soulmate connection going on here somewhere. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, this is a pretty solid yes with regards to whatever you ask tarot with that sun shining through the way it is. All right, now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords says whatever challenges or tests you're dealing with, you're going to overcome them relatively easily and relatively quickly. Page of Wands talks about reconnecting to passion. This could be reconnecting to a passionate relationship, but oftentimes it's reconnecting to creative passions, reconnecting to whatever kind of reaches you on a soul level, focusing on your passions. Nine of Coins. The Nine of Coins talks about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury to bring in that abundance you desire. Like the Seven of uh, Pentacles being in your transparent tarot, you're going to have to be patient as your abundance comes in, but you can treat yourself to a little bit extra and help speed it along a little bit. And there's that hermit again. And look, he is meditating in the card this time. I feel like your guides are asking you to please meditate. And it doesn't have to be, there's no rules for meditation, whatever works for you, but so that your guides, your higher self, your team can interact with you and bring some guidance forward to help you realize some things about yourself and some challenges and how you're overcoming and how you're growing and all kinds of things. So please make some time to go inward, make some time to you know, spend some time alone and do that inner work that brings all of that growth. Now, let's talk about Oracle. We'll start with Angel Oracle. Angels, for group number three, please. Thank you, thank you. Let go. All right, so whatever it is you're holding on to a little too tightly, let it go. Um, release it. If it's meant for you, it'll come back to you. Um, if it's meant for you, it may not even leave, but let go. Whatever it is, let go and give it the chance to come back. Now, with this hermit, I want to also say he, this heal your heart. This meditation may be related to that as well. Also, the letting go. Now, let's see the uh, moonology for the Knight of Swords. With regards to the overcoming of challenges... It's a time to give rather than take. So whatever challenge you're dealing with, make sure that you are focusing on giving rather than receiving, and that's gonna help you move through it. Now, let's see the nine of coins with Queen of the Moon. What is there to add to Queen of the Moon here? Wisdom, or to the nine of coins, wisdom. That talks about um, knowledge and through experience. So part of your experience is treating yourself to luxury to bring in that abundance. That will bring in the experience of experiencing a little bit of luxury, which tells the universe, hey, bring more of this in because they desire it because they like it. So just make sure you give yourself a little something extra. It's going to help in the universe bringing in your abundance. Let's see this page of wands. Abundance. Okay, I like it. Um, the Page of Wands is about connecting to your passions. This Abundance card, also all red, very passionate energy. 
Um, it can talk about material abundance, but normally it talks about an abundance of passion, an abundance of feeling, an abundance of desired things. So follow your passions. It's going to bring in an abundance of things that you desire. Now, let's see the spell casting oracle. We're going to start with the hermit. What is there to add to the hermit here, please? Thank you. Thank you. Travel. All right, so this travel card can talk about traveling. It can also talk about moving forward. I feel like here it's probably talking about moving forward through meditation, through inner, um, inner knowledge, inner looking. You're going to find yourself propelling your journey forward. So just take some time, really go inward. It's going to help with a lot of the situations you're dealing with. Now, the transparent tarot, which was a pretty stable yes. I know we got the hermit in there. We got it here, too. Um, I feel like it's a very strong yes because the sun just shines through everything else. And um, it, it, it's all about growth and positivity. You get closure. All right. So the answer to your question is yes. And it's about providing closure. It's about moving forward. You are going to move forward. Your guides really want to help move you forward. Letting things from the past close so that you can move forward is going to be beneficial as well. The answer to your question was yes, and closure has something to do with it. All right, that is all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the Malachite. Your first message of the reading is it's time to transform. Transformation periods are not always easy, but you got this. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top taking three to six cards, that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. All right, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, so we start with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups can talk about not quite seeing things clearly, or missing something that the universe is trying to bring in, not seeing what's right in front of you. Next, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords talks about action, protecting your energy. Um, she's very direct, sometimes a little bit too direct. Um, she can lack some tact in her speech sometimes, and um, she can represent a person that you're dealing with or the idea that you need to protect your energy and it may be time to take action somewhere. Next, we see the Hierophant. The Hierophant talks about foundational change, building foundations. It can represent um, going back to school to change your career. It can represent um, finding a belief set that resonates with your soul or something like marriage. It's the more um, official side of marriage if it's looking at marriage. Next, we see the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles talks about your work. You putting in the work, you um, focusing your energy on putting that work in. All right. Now, you know, I feel like the Seven of Swords also belongs here. The Seven of Swords can talk about... Um, it can talk about situations where you're hanging on to things too tightly. It can also talk about um, situations where someone may not be being completely honest. All right, so looking at this as a yes or no, you've got the Seven of Swords. It looks like it's stabbing the Queen of Swords. It's also stabbing into the tree of the Hierophant. 
Um, and then you've got all the work that you're putting in. I feel like there may be something going on in the background that is kind of um, uh, working against you. There, there may be something that you're not seeing clearly. I feel like with the Seven of Swords, the way it's laid out with everything, I feel like the answer to your question is most likely no. All right, now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. King of Wands, that can represent a person that you're dealing with, or it can represent you. Very passionate energy. Passion is the energy of life for the King of Wands. It can also talk about stepping into creative passions. It says if you feel called to do something creative, now is a good time for you to step into it. The star, that is healing and a gift from the divine. The Nine of Wands, that is um, taking strong positions that could cause a sacrifice in some way. Um, hanging on to ideas that maybe are not part of your current energy that are keeping you from really moving forward. Notice he's not climbing the stairs, he's sitting on them. And then the world, that talks about completion. Um, it's got all the elements there plus consciousness, so it is a very significant completion for you. In your situations, everything looks very positive. Um, there may be some ideas that maybe you need to work through, but everything looks pretty positive. Now, let's see your oracles. So, angels, for group number four, please, whatever is in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel is the Archangel of Wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge through experience, and he is offering his assistance kind of to help you sort through anything that's not quite making sense to you. If you need Archangel Uriel's assistance or desire it, he shows up in your reading to let you know you can call out to him, and he will be there to support and assist you, and he can do anything any Archangel can do. So if you um, if you're already working with him, he's showing up here just to kind of confirm that. And if not, he's letting you know he is here for you if you desire it. Now, let's see Moonology for the Nine of Wands. What is there for the Nine of Wands here, please? Thank you, thank you. Adjustments are required. That's kind of what I was talking about. I feel like maybe you're hanging on to some kind of um, thought or idea that's keeping you from moving forward, that's keeping you from making real strides that you desire to make. So just kind of look at your thoughts and see what needs to be adjusted so that you can move forward down the path that you choose. Now, let's see the star with Queen of the Moon. What is there for the star here regarding the healing? Ooh, release. Okay. So part of this healing is releasing anything that is not meant for you. With your transparent tarot, I got like a significant feeling that maybe there's something going on um, in your life somewhere where someone's not being completely honest. Um, something may be going on uh, where it's just, it's not very clear. There's some healing that's coming in and you're going to be releasing all kinds of things. And um, that's, that's going to be part of that healing. Let's see the King of Wands. Fear. All right. So don't be afraid to step into your passions. See how she's afraid on the inside? She's afraid. She feels it. But she's a goddess. She's in charge of everything in this card there is to be afraid of. That is what your guides are telling you. If you feel called to do something, if you feel a call to your passions, follow it. You can follow your passions. You should trust yourself. Don't let fear keep you from following what you desire. Now, let's take a look at the spellcasting oracle. We're going to look at the world. The world is all about completion. It can be the completion of a karmic cycle. It is, it is all about completion. Blessings. Okay, so there are blessings coming in that bring a complete energy with it, um, the feeling of completeness, the, the completing something that's significant to you that is going to feel like a blessing just to be finished. Now, the transparent tarot, which was most likely no, like I feel that way because of the way that Seven of Swords lays out on the pile. 
you should follow your intuition. If you feel something different in a tarot reading, whether it's me or some other reader, you need to follow your intuition because your intuition is for you. I feel like for most of you, the answer here is no. Now let's see what there is to go with it. Trust. Okay. So the answer to your question is most likely no. Um, with that seven of swords, like I said, I felt like um, maybe somebody wasn't being honest with you. It is possible that it is someone that you trust. All right, please take it as it resonates for you. Um, and it's going to be different for everybody because this is a general reading. All right, that's all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the black tourmaline. Your first message of the reading is to protect your energy. So whatever you need to do to protect your energy, even if it's putting a little piece of black tourmaline in your pocket. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, so let's see here. That's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right. So we start with victory. The six of wands represents victory. Celebrating your victories, focusing on your victory. Next, we see the five of pentacles, which talks about fear with regards to money or fear of loneliness. Next, we see the five of cups. The Five of Cups talks about looking at your losses versus looking at what you have to be grateful for. Next, we see the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups talks about a proposal to take things to the next level. This could be a romantic proposal. It could be a work proposal. The idea is taking things to the next level or being offered the opportunity to take things to the next level. Next, we see the tower. The tower talks about change, things changing, change coming in strong. And then topping everything off, we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups talks about a happy home life. It can represent moving, very positive, united energy on the home front. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. You've got some um, kind of jumping back and forth. You've got success and happy home energy and a proposal. And then you've got the tower saying, oh, things are changing. Although really with those double fives like that, I feel like change may be necessary. You may have gotten stuck kind of in a rut of looking at what is difficult, looking at what you feel like should have been yours. Um, focusing on fear of what could go wrong as opposed to looking at what is right and what can be right. Okay, looking at this as a yes or no, it is kind of there on the line, but I feel like the tower is talking about good change with those fives and the success with the six of wands starting us off, finishing with the 10 of cups, which is very positive home energy. I feel like the answer to your question is most likely yes, but some of your perspectives may need to change. You may also need to cleanse some of your energy because I feel like you may have gotten stuck in a rut of looking at things in kind of a negative way. So the answer to your question is most likely yes, but I think some perspectives are going to have to change. Now let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nine of Wands, that talks about, that can talk about hanging on to ideas that keep you from moving forward. Kind of like what I was talking about um, with the, the fives here. Maybe having some ideas that are causing you to make a sacrifice of what you actually desire 
in your realm, in your life. So I feel like instead of sitting on the stairs, you're going to be climbing those stairs once you deal with whatever thought forms need to kind of be purged or changed or cleansed. Three of coins, that talks about being appreciative for your work, being appreciative for what you do. That can look like a raise, that can look like a promotion or extra business if you work for yourself. People are appreciating your energy. Three of swords, there is some heartbreak going on, which is not surprising with that five of cups. Um, some of you feel like you've lost something that was meant to be yours. There's heartbreak involved in it. We'll get Oracle and see how you deal with it so that you can move into a a lighter, more freeing energy. And then the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands talks about fighting. Um, this could be uh, arguing. It could be controversy. It could be fighting in relationships. Again, Oracle is going to bring in some energy. There is definitely some energy that, that needs to be changed and cleansed here for sure. Now, let's see the Angel Oracle. Angels for group number five, please. Thank you, thank you. Honor life cycles, for sure. You have to honor life cycles. If something ends, it's meant to end. And you have to let it end because that, that's what brings in new energy. And when I'm talking about cleansing these energies, I'm not saying pretend you don't feel heartbreak, pretend you don't feel anger or irritation. Not at all. I'm saying feel it, deal with it, process it, move into something that you do desire. So let's get, let's just jump right into the Oracle there. We're going to look at that three of swords with regards to the heartbreak, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, advice with regards to the three of swords for group number five, believe in the impossible. Absolutely. You have to, you have to believe in the impossible, whatever it is that has broken your heart, whatever it is that has made you feel like you've lost something that should have been yours, that was yours, that whatever it is. Whatever's broken your heart, you have to believe that you're going to get past it. You have to believe that you're going to be able to work your way through it. You have to believe that things are going to get better for things to be able to get better. Now, the five of wands, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. With regards to the controversy and the five of wands, how does group number five navigate it? Hold your vision. Okay. So wherever this controversy is, wherever the fighting is, hold your vision. Just kind of move through it. You don't have to engage. You know, whatever it is, um, I feel like maybe you're not really in the throes of it. So just, just really hold your vision and try to move beyond it. You know, I'm not saying give in. I'm not saying uh, make concessions that you shouldn't make. You should always stand up for yourself. Hold your vision, stand up for yourself, but really don't engage. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon for that Nine of Wands, because I really feel like you guys are going to be moving up those stairs relatively soon. Like, things are going to change. You have to start believing that the change is possible for things to change. Nine of Wands. Abundance, yes. If you start releasing this feeling that everything is just going to be horrible and that you're never going to get better. If you start believing that things are going to improve, you're going to release this energy and abundance is going to come flowing in. Now, this abundance doesn't necessarily mean monetary abundance. Look at all the red. There's tons of passion in this card. This is an abundance of things that your heart desires. Now, let's see Spellcasting Oracle, because the Three of Coins is really good. I feel like some of you just got a raise or a promotion or something fantastic has happened in your work life. Uh, three of Coins. Clarity. Beautiful. Okay. So um, this is here for clarity purposes, um, maybe just showing you that there are things to be grateful for. There are things happening in your work life that that are there for the purpose of gratitude. So show gratitude to help break up this harder energy. Now, the transparent tarot, which I feel like was yes with, um, with some change in perspective. So the answer to your question, yes, although perspectives may need to change first, what is there to add to transparent tarot? Good luck. Beautiful. So the answer to your question is yes, and luck is on your side, even if it hasn't felt that way for a while. Luck is on your side. Start believing things are going to get better, and they will. All right, that is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. 
Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.